just a quick update on how the grow beds are doing. Remember that I started out with um, two different types of media. The one on the left hand side here is the 8 to 16 millimeter hydroton. The one on the right here is the 4 to 8 millimeter hydroton. And after planting some seeds without sprout, without um, first sprouting and then transplanting, I just directly seeded both grow beds. We can see it's been about three and a half, about four days now. Lots and lots of sprouting activity happening here in the grow bed on the right hand side. I've actually planted a lot all over the place, but I guess I'm not seeing much growth other than for these plants on the front here, which I honestly don't know what they are because I just opened up the packets of seed and started pushing them into the soil or rather into the grow media. I have just put in some spinach and some pumpkin seeds into this grow bed. My theory at the moment, which can't be proven, I guess, is that the smaller grow media being much more to soil in its consistency and size being of a smaller granular size probably holds the seeds much better in one position during the flood and drain cycle. I'm really worried that I might have planted the seeds just slightly too deep into my grow bed on the left and uh, I'm concerned that the flood and drain cycle is basically flushing away the seeds. So I have planted the new ones slightly above where the water line is, um, hoping that the wicking effect will actually get some moisture to the seed and just hoping that I can finally see some activity on the left hand side but uh, in general terms I think that for the next grow beds I am beginning to lean slightly to using the smaller um, size grow media for the hydroton. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.